I think I'll answer this question and um, explain a little bit about NOC detection on uh, the Nexus ACUs. Um, first of all, NOC is, uh, so everyone understands, NOC is a thing that happens after combustion begins. Um, as the flame front propagates from the spark plug, um, the first part of the fuel and air mixture is burnt. Um, that expands, obviously, because it's hot, and that compresses the remaining air and fuel mixture, which hasn't been burnt yet, um, and causes that to compression ignite. Um, and that's what knocking is, and uh, when that happens, it um, it blasts the boundary layer away from the piston, so you get peeling on the piston, and that sort of thing. Um, the actual noise that the engine makes is it's just the engine's natural noise. Um, it's just the um, that the um, the change in direction of the flame fronts um, causes you know a little slap in the piston that sort of thing to be taken up. Um, so because it's basically just the normal sound of the engine, it's actually quite hard to differentiate um, engine noise from knocking. Um, so this question here is um, about setting up the knock threshold table, um, and I think it's probably part of the confusion here comes from um, two different channels in the EC. One's called the knock level. One of them is called the knock signal. Um, so I'll show you what they look like um, on the simulator. Um, to differentiate between what's just background noise and what's actually knock, um, we use frequency, but we also use engine angle as well. Um, so this is what the knock um, screen looks like in the ECU. I've added some extra tables here and some extra channels so you can see what's going on. Um, so at the moment, I'm just running at a constant engine speed. Um, of a lot of here so that you can see what's happening. Um, and I'll just introduce um, some knock. So this is at 7,000 hertz. And you can see in the spectrum view, we've got peak there at 7K. These are the harmonics on it. Um, in a spectrum view, like you know, if you're my age, you remember bin boxes with little graphical devices. Um, and this is a, like a trace view of a spectrum graph. Uh, for the spectrogram. Um, you can also change the, the scale in this if you want to see why I can. Now this view here is the engine angle view. So this is from 0 to 720 degrees. I've configured this as a four cylinder 1342 engine and I've made the knock signal start at 10 degrees after top dead center and go to 40 degrees after top dead center. Um, and you can see in the angles here we're looking from 15 degrees after for a duration of 40 degrees, so that's until 55 degrees after. So if I start the signal earlier, you can see the signal starts early here. I can make it finish later as well. And this enables you to see, like, if there's a little spike here, for example, that's not related to the, um, um, that's not related to the engine load or anything like that, then you can think that maybe that's a, a ticky injector or a noisy lifter or something. Um, so we'll go back to the, the values I had before there. So this enables you to see, um, if you can make it knock and you can see which angles it's happening at, then that enables you to tune those correctly. Um, one other thing that I'm going to mention is that on the next CCs, there's this option here to remove background noise. Um, and what that does is the ECU looks at the knock level during the window and in between the windows and gets the difference between the two. Um, and that becomes the new knock signal, not just the value within the window. And the reason for that is that if you can imagine you've got a big signal like that that lasts all the time, you can look at that and say, well, that's got to be background noise. So that's not that's not knock level. So um, that enables you to just remove that altogether. And you can see then like that, our knock signal is only like two decibels. Whereas if we, um, uh, if we had that just with the window there, then the knock signal is like 30 decibels. Uh, all right, so knock threshold table. So the knock signal is uh, what we're actually detecting with this. Um, so if you've got that switched on, it'll be the difference between the in window and the out of window. Uh, and if you've got that switched off or an elite, it'll just be a little bit tighter than the window there. Uh, that's the knock signal. Knock level is just that value minus the value in the knock threshold table. So you can see there it's saying 33 decibels. 
um, and our actual value there is four decimals. If I just change that to be, say, 10 or whatever, it goes from 33 down to 23. Um, now, another thing I'm going to show you is that if we have the, this is the long-term trim table. So when it detects a knock, it's programmed to actually take out a lot of time in there very quickly. Um, and so the actual amount of, uh, the total amount of time that's taken out here is the short-term trim plus the long-term trim. And if the knock goes away, that can be set to recover as well. This is all in the knock long-term trim settings. So you can see that's going back up to zero. You can see the time we gradually going up over time. Um, just show it there. And you can also set this up. Oh, sorry, I'll show you these channels as well. So we set that there. You can see it's saying that all cylinders are looking, which you can see here in the angle here. And it's showing the knock level. So that's once you've subtracted the threshold uh, for each cylinder, knock count increases. Um, I can't switch each cylinder on and off with this simulator. What I can do. Um, is I can make them so it only happens on cylinders one and four. So you see it's got cylinders one and four, um, and then we've got zero and zero dB for cylinders two and three. Uh, and if you set the knock, um, uh, the knock control here as being per cylinder, um, then instead of having this, you can have the, the cylinders there at some. So you can see the trim there per cylinder. So now we've got you know, minus five degrees here for the short term trim on cylinders one and four, um, and nothing on cylinders two or three. If I change the simulator size of one or four, you can see that they're all at minus five degrees. Um, now, the one last thing that I'll show you is the, um, what I'll tell you about is there is also a knock sets so a disconnect to TTC. From 1.25 onwards, and um, that looks at the background noise level when the engine's running, and that has to be at least, I think it's minus five decibel millivolts. Um, if that's not there, then we assume that it's, the sensor's not actually plugged in, and that will plug a DTC. Um, and there's an option here for the sensor disconnected that will go to the full amount of uh, ignition retard. Um, that's it. Thanks very much. Have fun.